everyone welcome to the sham packer let's get packing okay so we are literally a day out of tour which means i'll be leaving soon for tour and i just wanted to take you with on the process i guess i can say of me packing i know i did a similar video on what is now only my beauty channel on youtube but um i'll link that up here for you if you, if you want to see that um, but basically that was like, I just thought that was like quite a stuffy video and it was uh, suffocating, well, which leads to stuffy. But anyway, I just wanted to take you on the process of me packing my bags. Um, I try, I always say this, I try and pack as light as possible for tour and I have got it down to a fine art. You're welcome. It's all good and well saying, oh, I pack light, but it, and it doesn't look like I pack light because it looks like a lot. But I, I'm super keen just to take you on the journey. So let's get into it. So if you have seen the video that I did link, or if you have followed me on my uh, beauty channel before and have seen that video, regardless if you've seen it or not, you will know that I, for every tour, set up um, an Excel spreadsheet. I get made fun of it a lot on tour. But you know what, bitch, it comes in handy and it helps me, okay? Organize my A-type mind and thinking, okay? So obviously it's divided up into different tabs and make a list of what I need. So I make a packing list and then I make a return packing list so that I know where shit goes. The problem is though, is that because my bag that I normally travel with got damaged two tours ago, I know I'm not going to take the chance and use it because it's just going to break through and I'm not about that journey. So Trav and I are actually sharing a main case this time. Lord help us because the last time we did that was just for a two week tour. This is six to seven weeks so train smash in the making. No it's okay. We made it work the last time and also like I say I'm dubious for packing a lot. Anyway so let's start with toiletries I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna try and film it like this. I'm not very good at these videos. Um, that's my sausage. <laughs> In case you're wondering what that was. So this is my toiletry rag. I got it from Woolworths. It's clear. It's black. It's cute. It does the job. Next, moving on. Alrighty. So first thing first, shampoo. Obviously, you would think, oh, don't you want to use the shampoo in the hotels? Absolutely not. I care about my hair far too much. I actually bought this from my salon um, because I have an incredible hairdresser. I will list her details in the video here for you. Bronwyn is incred and she sold me this shampoo and I promise you now it's life saving especially if you have dyed and damaged hair like I do because I love to change my hair color on the often. So it is a travel bottle with my hair oil mask mixture. And I have a, a hair oiling routine, which I will have a hair routine up on my beauty channel um, soon, so be sure to look out for that. But basically it's my hair mask and the three different oils I use to help promote hair growth because essentially that's what my vibe is right now. I want to grow out my hair and so I'm not going to skip out on my hair routine for tour. <laughs> no, no. I have this hair scrubbing brush that I bought at Walmart. I broke it already and this essentially just helps to massage the scalp, release any dead skin cells, exfoliate my cup and it helps to brush through that hair mask to like from root to end kind of thing. So I love using this in the shower to wash my hair and to condition my hair. So yes, there's that. And then finally to finish, finish oh, English. Finally, to finish off the hair category, I just have um, my travel hairbrush and comb. I'm not going to take my big hairbrush because that's just wasteful in space. And at least this I can throw in my carry-on or in my show day bag when I have a show and need to like fix my shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Wait, I almost forgot. I also have a travel size um, heat defense spray, uh, obviously because... This is really good to use when you're drying your hair and straightening your hair and styling your hair and all that good stuff. I've lost the cap. Reckless, I know. I love to live my life rebelliously. But um, obviously I have a full bottle at home and I take the travel size one because I don't need a lot of this. And this 100ml will see me the whole tour. Bye Tresemme. We still hate them. 
but this is the only one that doesn't react on my head and give me a um an allergic reaction dry shampoo by batista this is just the original clean and classic full size of course um reason for dry shampoo to get me through the days between the two days of washing my hair i don't like to wash my hair all that often i like to keep my hair as long as possible um so yeah i need a dry shampoo to see me through those times Alrighty, tidy next category is um the face or the head if you will starting off clean i need something to take off my makeup at the end of the day and so i have my clinique take off the day balm hey hey there we go it's essentially um like an oily balm that when you melt it in your hands it becomes like um an oily moisturizing I don't know type of thing but essentially it's a makeup remover it's my favorite it is the best it is huge in size which might be a problem to travel with but I guess what I know I've put a lot of my friends on this it is just incredible for taking off your makeup at the end of the day when you just don't feel like working hard to take off your makeup a facial cleanser slash exfoliant this is by L'Oreal these Sugar scrubs are my favorite. They have um, three variants. This one is specifically the brown sugar one, which is obviously the nourishing scrub. So yeah, this is a two-in-one for me. It's technically a face wash and a face scrub or exfoliator in one. Okay, life goals, multi-use products. Then of course, we are going to need a toner. I take my travel size toner. This is by Ulla Hendrickson. It is, oh my gosh, the Glow some form of formulatic equation I don't know we'll just skip that dark spot toner I really like their toner um, also just because it is in a travel size I don't use more than this on a tour so this is the perfect size and the perfect amount of toner to use on tour why do you need toner reasons check my beauty channel and I am taking two serums is that excessive mm, maybe but let me explain so I normally do use the ordinary buffet Buffet, my goodness, you can tell I'm a friends fan. The Ordinary Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. It is my favorite, but it is well and truly on its way out. And I cannot afford to not have a serum on tour. So I am substituting this for when it does run out with my Expert Serum Barrier Protection uh, Serum from Isabella Garcia. It's not my loved serum. But it is better than nothing. I cannot not tour without a serum. It's just not possible. This moisturizer I have been loving. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Such a long name for such a small bottle. I absolutely adore this moisturizer. It smells like watermelon. And it just gives the most amazing instant boost of hydration to the skin. Which is what I need. Why? Because we're going to, you know... The driest part of the world other than the bloody sahara desert which is autumn to winter season in the uk imagine and then lastly a sunscreen why there's no sun in the uk um because well yeah you still need spf protection even though there is no sun and um you're not in the sun the whole day well at least i'm not um anyway this is the bear with me um sunscreen and moisturizing primer from nyx it contains cannabis sativa seed oil yes get my skin nice and high jokes you do need a sunscreen because some lights especially some fluorescent lighting emits uva and uvb rays and you need to be protected and also this is going to substitute my glow recipe moisturizer when that runs out because that is also on its way out so sunscreen moisturizer and primer in one love this journey moving on to like the hygiene type stuff i don't know my teeth i obviously always travel with a travel size mouthwash you cannot not use mouthwash fresh minty breath yes please my toothbrush in um, its holder it looks disgusting but really and truly I promise you it's not that, pa that baby powder explosion I had in my bag not so long ago affected my toothbrush holder so that's why it looks the way it does um, and then of course my toothpaste Sensodyne why because I'm a sensitive bitch we move on We've now made our way into the body department 
as you can see I like to take care of my skin and body imagine that so I don't normally travel with like a scrunchie or a loofah or like a face cloth I take exfoliating gloves some people say they don't work I don't care I can tell the difference so whatever and then of course I keep them in their own little ziploc baggie so that it doesn't make everything else in my toiletry bag damp Next, I have this body brush. It does come with a long handle, but luckily these can be detached, so I always detach mine, hence the little strap for your hands. Um, I use this to sand down the shit out of my body. Why? Because soft, glowing skin is the thing. So I will have a tutorial on my beauty page up very shortly about my body routine and body brushing specifically because I feel like a lot of women or people rather can benefit from body brushing it is so so healthy for you and your skin so I will be uploading a tutorial on that shortly next up is my body goods my scent profile for this tour is coconut as you can see everything is coconut scented this one is around just somewhere good grief cocoa butter as you can see I know it sounds so strange and I feel like I may be the only person that does this but every single time we tour I choose like a scent profile and go with that so like my cream my scrub and my body wash are all one scent along with like my perfumes and things why because I'm a serial killer and psychotic I don't know that's not actually the real reason don't take this down anyway so I have a shower cream body wash from the body shop I do love the body shop stuff and I do get points there this is um, de, obviously coconut. Next, also from the body shop, I have a coconut exfoliating cream scrub. You may ask, like, is this a lot of exfoliation for one body? Yes, Karen, yes it is. Do I care? No. Is my body, like, softer than a baby's asshole? You betcha. But this is also in the coconut scent. Okay, and then lastly, because this is literally the only time I can ever moisturize my skin in the year, I swear, the only time I can put moisturizer on my body is when I'm on tour, because I'm not doing any pull. Um, so yeah, I have this Nivea body butter. It is cocoa butter. Deep moisture serum. Yes, please, for dry skin, which of course I have. Again, scent profile is body butter. While we are in the business of smelling good, I always travel with an antiperspirant um, stick. I do not like the aerosols. They do not last long. I feel like this is so much better. This is by Nivea, of course, and it's the Pearl and Beauty. Now, it doesn't quite smell like coconut, but it does work well with my coconut products, so I am happy with this scent profile. Again, this type of stick is just the easiest to travel with as opposed to like an aerosol. My perfume for this tour is the new obsession I have for this brand specifically. This is the Mason Margiela replica um, brand. I have the travel size here of By the Fireplace. It is the most incredible perfume brand I have ever come across. I wish to just have all the scents, all in travel sizes of course, so that I can take them with me on tour. Um, literally, as it says in the bottle, By the Fireplace, if I close my eyes and smell this, well spray this on my body it smells like I've been sitting by the fireplace their fragrance descriptions and notes are so on point okay now we get into the stupid little things I always travel with my own cotton buds just because I use more than one when it comes to like makeup and hygiene and stuff like that even though the hotel does supply it's not enough and obviously my husband and I share a room so I bring my own cotton buds I always travel with my own derma blade just to keep like my brows and things in check and to keep my face smooth. So I always travel with my own derma blade. Tweezers, of course, for like when I need to groom my brows and things. Like this is pretty self-explanatory. This is by Sorbet. I got them in a pack of four. This is the pointier one, I guess. My rose quartz facial roller for obvious reasons to de-puff and keep that natural contour going in my face because I refuse to look puffy in my face. Men's razor with blade. I always change the blade and bring an extra one just in case. This one is a powered one. Um, obviously to like shave my legs and shit like duh. 
And then lastly, the feminine stuff. I'm not going to hold this on the camera for long because some people get grossed out by it. Not for you. Being a makeup artist, like this is the most important pack. Uh, anyway, so let's just hop on right in. This is my Mac Carry All bag. Has a mirror. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of pockets with a super wide, deep backside. I do have two videos, I think, on my beauty channel packing my bag but I'm gonna keep today super simple and just quickly walk you through my products so I am just gonna add um, my toiletries uh, if you're confused I have the clear bag that I showed you prior is my shower case that's all the stuff I take with me into the bathroom to shower obviously and get ready and then I have all the other separate toiletries that I keep in this bag because I refer to them as my get ready toiletries um, so I'm just gonna add that in real quick cool where does toiletries packed let's get into this makeup business shall we starting off fix plus again in my scent coconut what are the chances this was literally quinky dink uh, this is just my favorite product. I always 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 travel with a fix plus whether it's the little one or the big bottle I cannot not travel without a fix plus. So of course my setting spray in one primer And that is my travel size of my Isabella Garcia Insta Glam primer. It is a blurring primer I absolutely adore this. I've been using it for the last three months now straight and Cannot seem to let it go. So of course naturally it's the primer that's coming with foundation I decided to go with a skin tint my skin hasn't been all that bad and of course I need something lightweight in my opinion I have to when I want to look like I have makeup on but no makeup on if that makes sense I'm going for like the real clean girl no makeup makeup aesthetic vibe for tour the less the better powder to set my face I decanted a little bit of my L'Oreal translucent powder I will put an insert here so you can see what that looks like um, just a little travel size super cute and then lastly for concealer I'm just gonna take my Maybelline one because it's got the sponge and it's just so easy to blend out and if I don't feel like wearing foundation one of these days or that skin tint I can get away with just this concealer on my face um, because it's quite a nice shade and matches my skin almost 100% I'm really enjoying this concealer I might actually repurchase it and it's an affordable drugstore brand so yay me okay next let's head into eyes of course i have to take an eye primer this is a non-negotiable non-negotiable product wow for me um i normally take the 24 hour eye base but mine is finished so i'm left with my painterly but it's fine this is my tried and true and my absolute favorite eyelid primer painterly of course uh this is from mac okay so next i have some eyeliners i've got three here so i've got my mac brushstroke black this is a liquid pen i've also got my feline which is kind of on its way out but that's okay it's my favorite black eyeliner and then at the last minute i decided to drop in a brown eyeliner as well this is by isabella garcia it's a lip and eyeliner so it's a two-in-one even though i will never use never use it as a two-in-one without breaking the tip off i am taking just two products the first one is by mac this is the shape and shade brow tint it has an eyeshadow on the one end and kind of like a liquid eyeliner tip on the other it's a felt tip brush this looks well i love using this for um that like microbladed look and it's so easy to fill in thick brows with these products I'm not looking to actually fill my brows I'm just looking to kind of shape them and make them look a little bit thicker and more brushed up kind of like soap brows and these two products do it for me so this is the pen and then of course my favorite brow gel at the moment is this one by NYX it's the Thicket Stickered Brow Mascara I'm in the shade taupe and basically it's like the big brows um, eye gel uh, brow gel rather from MAC it has these little fibers in 
that help just create thicker brows and this really brushes up my brows and makes them look thicker and more neanderthal like which i love i love a brushed up bushy caveman brow don't judge me up we have my lash products is this excessive yes but i am a material girl so shh, shut up first up eyelash curler it's part of my lash routine now to just always curl my lashes it's just become a new obsession so i cannot not do my lashes without these things next i have a lash primer this is by l'oreal it is the paradise primer this just helps to create thick full lashes um, basically without even trying it's a white formula and then of course my absolute love of my life other than Trav is this Fenty black mascara it is oh so good like my favorite was the Too Faced better than six this Fenty mascara trumps that 100% so my Fenty mascara of course and then for the days where we do get the chance to like go out I guess I always just bring lashes just in case you never know we might have a girls night out like we did the last time or um I don't know just get all dressed up and fancy or might be invited to a sponsor's house like we normally do in America and I always just like being a little bit extra so I always take a pair of lashes and some lash glue these are the wispies in black by the um brand Ardell and then just my Dua Lash line it glue I really do like this wand in the glue I absolutely love duo glue but this is just better to travel with than that tube so yeah fancy lashes for when we go out bronzer I am keeping in with the liquid situation I am using this face and body foundation it is technically um, a bronzing product even though this says foundation it's like the face and body foundation by Mac excuse my name <laughs> professional makeup artist here how do you know but this is essentially a liquid bronzer it has a little bit of like a reflect in which the camera is obviously not picking up I am also bringing this it is by Mac but you can't tell because it is so the writing is just rubbed off it's just a mess like you can just just make it out there but you won't be able to tell what it is essentially this is the Mac studio fix quick trick sticks Basically, it's a two-in-one product, so there's a blush on the side and then a cream highlighter on the side, like a CCB. I was going back and forth about putting this product in because I absolutely love Hush. And my favorite blushes at the moment are the Glow Play blushes by MAC. But I cannot bring so many products with me. So eventually, after going back and forth, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to chuck this stick in because it is a blush. And the cream highlighter is very similar to Hush. So, you know what? multi-use product it's a two-in-one it's travel friendly so why the feck not i'm bringing a decanted little pot of highlighting powder this is by mika beauty it is in the shade sunlight fb3 it's a face and body bronzer technically but actually it's a highlighter it's a little bit darker than champagne pop but in the sense of that it's more of a true gold rather than a white gold and I just popped it in one of my MAC decanter jars uh, that I got from them the other day the product that wasn't here finished and I just cleaned it out and decided to put in a little bit of highlighter because I'm not looking to actually highlight my face but I, I can't not do makeup without an inner corner highlighter and a brow highlighter because those two things make me look awake and when you're touring you need to look alive so this is my highlighter okay so let's get into these bad boys these are my studio fix sculpt and shape contour palettes i'm taking both shade waves this is the one for lighter skin this is the one for darker skin the reason why i'm bringing these palettes is because um i'm going to be using them as eyeshadows an eyeshadow palette and a contour and bronzer palette i do have a video up on my beauty channel regarding this situation here but it just made sense to use my contour palettes as an eyeshadow palette and a um, bronzing highlighting situation i've got highlighting correcting powders these have a bit of a shimmer in so i can use them for like lid shades and then i have a variety of bronzing and contouring shades so this just made sense to me it's 
I know this looks a mess, don't judge me, but this is my MAC sharpener. It has three openings, one, two, three, technically two openings, but it's adjustable. The reason why it's in the packet is because my lid just does not stay on and all the sharpenings fall out. So I have emptied it, but it will forever remain in this packet to save me spillage in my bag. It only had to happen one time for me to come up with this solution. So of course, my sharpener for my lip liners and eyeliner pencils. Getting into my lip products right now, I have a nude pencil. This is Oak by MAC. This is my favorite nude pencil. It just does the things. I'm only doing three lip colors this tour. I'm doing a nude, a red, and a dark lip. Those tend to be my uh, like go-to shades. Um, so yeah, uh, these are glasses though. I've decided to kind of steer away from lipsticks and liquid lipsticks this time just because I wanted something lighter and more comfortable to wear and these lip glosses definitely provide that. So Oak is for this lip gloss right here, which is the Paint and Paint Lip Lacquers by MAC. This is a lip final. This is in the shade Paint and Pleasure. It is an orangey nude for my skin type, but that's why I have Oak and that brown eyeliner pencil. Just to tone it down a little bit and make it a little bit more neutral for me. I absolutely adore these. They are so comfortable to wear. They are opaque. They are glossy. Oh, they're just everything I need on my mouth right now. Is that too sexual? Maybe. Um, and then I have a uh, pencil here, half red. It's kind of like a cool tone brown-ish red. Um, and the reason for that is because I needed to work with both of these colors. They have red, orangey-ish undertones. I might not use it for this lip gloss, but we'll see. Uh, half red pencil. The lipstick that I am taking with me, which is my dark alternative, I always like to travel with a dark alternative. This is Spice It Up by MAC. It is a luster lipstick, so it's not going to provide a lot of opacity because it is a very sheer gloss-like lipstick. But I just like having a dark lipstick alternative. I used to always take my Fenty lip paint, but that can be a little bit too dark and... I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just feel like going for something in between for this tour. And then, of course, another lip lacquer that I have. I have about six of these. That's just how much I love them. This is Red Enamel. It's an orangey red, very similar to, like, Lady Danger or Mangrove from MAC. Just for when I need something brighter. Also, because we're doing shows in Dubai, and it's hot there, so I wanted, like, just a summery color, I guess. So, yeah, that's why I have that. Brushes. I, these are all the brushes I take with me. I know criminal who carries like not many brushes or well, not this many brushes. But anyway, I do have my Real Technique sponge, but I've just washed that. So that is wet. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use for my face. I have this for like bronzing and contouring. This is for like setting and highlighting. And then the various brushes I need to create my eye looks, um, my primer brush, my blending brush, highlighting brush lid brush and pencil brush for liners and then the eyeliner brush for eyeliner too so yep not a lot but it works so oops. all right and there we have it a fully stocked packed makeup bag ready for travel Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial or video rather this is part one don't forget to check out part two which will be uploaded next week also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to follow me on social media my social media handles are all up on the screen right now thank you so much see you soon